Welcome to my Guardian and Dragon Hunter base build for Guild Wars 2, for both open world PvE, PvP and world vs world. Instant damage, easy to play even for beginners, extremely fun, but average survivability. First I'm going to give you the build, traits and gear, then I will explain you some combos, give you some tips, and finally some gameplay in PvP and world vs world. English subtitles are available in the YouTube settings. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more Guild Wars 2 content. Let's go. Here is a build for all game modes. I am playing Longbow on Great Sword. I take Zeal 2 2 2. Fire Brass increase my damage and burning force. Thanks to judge interventions, you will teleport to the enemy and burn him. It's a great way to surprise your enemy and start a fight while increasing your damage. Zilu's Blade is a must-have, it will increase a lot your damage if you have a great sword. I take Virtues 1 to 3. Unscathed Cut Thunder will increase your damage a lot while you have Aegis. Thanks to Virtue of Courage, you will have Aegis boon periodically. And you can start a fight from range with a longbow to safely damage the enemy while having Aegis on the 20% damage buff. Indomitable Courage will buff your Virtue of Courage F3. Now break stuns and give you stability. I take Dragon Hunter 112. Piercing Light will reduce the cooldown of your traps. Very interesting because you are using 3 traps in this build. You even have a fourth trap. Thanks to Hunter Determination, you will cast a trap when you are disabled. This trap benefits from Piercing Light threat. Finally, Heavy Light is your best threat against stability, in addition to your F3 skill. Thanks to this threat, your longbow skill 3 will knock back the enemy and give you stability. All the skills that control enemy will also give you stability. F1, Great Sword 5, Longbow 3. The gear is Marauder Armor, Berserker Trinkets, Fireworks Rune to increase my damage and my swiftness. I take Sigil of Force and Sigil of Agility on both weapons. In PvP, I use Marauder Amulet on Link's Rune to increase my swiftness. My heal is Purification, a trap that will heal you when the enemy activates it. To activate your trap, you can pull the enemy inside using F1 twice or Grid Sword 5 twice. Test of Face and Procession of Blades are two other traps to damage. You can use the same trick to pull enemy inside if needed. Judge Intervention is a skill that will instantly teleport you to the targeted enemy and burn him. You can use it to combo. I will tell you some good combo later. Finally, Renew at Focus will make yourself invulnerable for 3 seconds and reset all your virtues. It's a very powerful skill to survive. Use it when your F2 and F3 are both in cooldown or if you are in trouble. Now I'm going to give you some tips and combos and to explain you how to damage. Let's start with a longbow, it's a range weapon, so you can use it to start a fight and then switch grid sword when your enemy is too close. Longbow skill 2 is a very powerful skill to DPS with a very long range. You can combo it with Judge Intervention. Judge Intervention will instantly teleport you closer to the target and will not interrupt any skill. You can precast skill 2 and teleport just before the end of the cast to get closer and hit the enemy. You can immediately switch to Grid Sword and use skill 2 to DPS. Longbow skill 3 is a Grid skill that will bump and control the enemy and also provides you stability. You can use it first and then follow with longbow skill 2 immediately so the enemy will be unable to dodge it. Another trick with this skill. If an enemy is following you and you are trying to run away, you can cast this skill behind you while using the look behind button from the settings. This will surprise the enemy and bump him, allowing you to escape or even to teleport on damage to him. Longbow skill 4 is a 5 second field that will keep damage the enemy. It's better to use it on a down state enemy, so he will be unable to move and will stay in the field. Longbow skill 5 is a very big damage skill, with a very long casting time, leaving you vulnerable for nearly 3 seconds. To avoid being interrupted or attacked, you can cast your F3 skill before. This will provide you stability and block all the incoming attack in front of you. 
What about great sword? You should use it as soon as you are in melee. It's a massive damage weapon. Great sword skill 2 is your most powerful skill with insane damage. A trick is to use it with judge intervention, preca skill 2 and immediately teleport to the enemy. Great sword skill 3 offers huge mobility. You can use it after using your longbow from range if you want to come closer in melee to the pace with great sword. You also can use this skill to travel faster or to escape. Here is a trick. If you weapon swap right before which sword 3 leaps ends, you will cancel the ending animation. This will make you a bit faster. Here is without weapon swap. You are stuck for a short time at the end of the animation. Here is with the weapon swap. Great sword skill 4 is a field that provides insane damage. In addition, it's a lightning field, so you can combo inside. You can use Grid Sword Skill 2 and Grid Sword Skill 5 into your field to deal increased damage. And you can also use Grid Sword Skill 3 inside, you will earn a light aura that will buff you. Also, be sure to put this skill on a downed enemy to deal insane damage. Grid Sword Skill 5 is probably your best skill. When you first activate it, you will throw blades to close enemies, one blade per enemy. That will damage him. If you activate it a second time, you will pull the enemy to you. You can use this to pull the enemy into your field or into your traps. Or you can just pull them to gather them closer to you on your skill 2 right after to DPS. Another advanced tips. If there are other enemies near your target, you can try to one-shot him with Grid Sword 5. All the projectiles will be stuck in your target if correctly combined with Judge Intervention. Precast Skill 5 and immediately teleport on the target. You will need to be on the target so all the projectiles will hit him. Your target will literally explode. About traps, you can pull your enemy inside to activate them either with Grid Sword 5 either with your F1 skill. As I explained before, you can precast many skills and combine them with Judge Intervention to surprise the enemy and get a big burst combo. You can use it with Longbow 2, Grid Sword 2, and Grid Sword 5. About your F1 skill, Spear of Justice. If you activate it once, this will increase your damage to the targeted enemy. If you activate it twice, this will pull the enemy to you into your traps, for example. Don't pull if it's not needed. Just keep the link to increase your DPS. About your F2 skill, Wings of Resolve. This will heal you on cure condition. You can also use it to escape if you are in trouble. About your F3 skill, Shield of Courage. This will break stun, give you stability, and most important, this will make you invulnerable from attack in front of you. Use it to avoid the burst or to safely DPS. You also can cast it before pressing F to stomp a downed enemy. This will provide you stability to safely stomp. To sum up, the most important thing is to fight as far as possible from the enemy using longbow first. Then you can switch great sword when the enemy is coming too close from you or if you need more damage. Remember to use your virtues to increase survivability and to use elite skill when you're in trouble or that your virtues are on cooldown. Finally, remember to pull enemies into your traps on your field, thanks to Grid Sword 5 on F1, and to combo with Judge Intervention to surprise the enemy. I hope this video will help you to have fun with Guardian. Tell me in comment if you enjoy the build. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more content if you need a guide to make gold, or if you need a build for another profession, all links are in the description. If you are using Discord, feel free to join my Guild to Discord community. All Guild Wars 2 players are welcome. Link is available in the description. See you soon. Enjoy the gameplay and bye.